Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melly. If you're new here, welcome in. I wanted to get a head start on this vlog since I literally only technically vlog like three days a week by the time I have to post it. So today is Friday. It's May 31st. It's 3.29 p.m. I just got back from dropping off a package of one of the sewing sticks. I appreciate you, Erin, for buying the little Highland cows. Um, I talked about it at the end of my last video. I went ahead and got all my groceries for the weekend, since I work on the weekend, and for the week. So I'm excited about that. I got a lot of good low calorie snacks and I've been doing pretty good. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I have lost, I guess, a total of almost three pounds <laughs> in the past two weeks. I know that's not too much. I've only lost almost like 1.4 each week which is okay I've now incorporated like my walking pad you guys saw me walking I did get a blister on that day because I wasn't wearing any shoes but today I walked a little over a mile while watching Sweet Beans Crochet and my feet are fine because I was wearing shoes so make sure you wear appropriate attire whenever you do that. I wanted to show you guys before I sat down and like clean this up like the realism of like trying different patterns out and like the yarn mess that you get whenever sorry i i look a little sweaty i am <laughs> ignore it but um i wanted to show you guys what my desk looks like right now i went with my mom we went to go get some soda i got a diet dr pepper i've been on a diet dr pepper kick um i don't drink this big thing usually i drink maybe like half and then the rest is consumed with water so don't worry about that guys let me show you my desk and this is in preparation of the video that i will be posting on saturday which you guys have seen already by now because this video that you're currently watching will be for thursday so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll icon it here so you can click on it after this video. But I am doing a free keychain patterns, testing out free keychain patterns. I have a series about it on my channel. I have a playlist that I set up for you guys if you're interested in watching all of them. I think I... I think this is like my third or fourth video of the series. Um, I need to catch up. I need to play catch up because I used to do really well. Then I stopped doing them. So I am adding one this Saturday. I'm excited. Um, I can show you guys behind the scenes because you guys should have already seen that video anyways. And all the links to all of these little plushies, if you want the patterns, are in that description, okay? Let me go ahead and show you what my room is looking like. A total mess is all I gotta say. So, so this area looks fine. It looks completely fine. This is the area I'm talking about. There's yarn everywhere. I just wanted to lay in bed and so I put all of my yarn up here. I have all of this yarn here. It's just a total mess, literal. And then these are the ones that I finished last night. So I finished them Thursday night slash Friday morning. We have this adorable little crab. These are all no-sew patterns as well, guys. My favorite one so far has been this frog and the stingray, but all of them are so cute. I did this one on my live. Still kind of looks meh to me. I have this cute little mallard duck. It looks okay. I dropped my crab, darn. I got peas in a pod. It looks okay. The bee is cute too, but I mean, all bees look kind of the same. But yeah, that is what I am working with right now. This is a literal mess. Literal mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit. I'll catch up with you guys here in just a little bit. I'm so sorry for the continuous like messages. <laughs> um, it is what it is and y'all are gonna hear it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But yeah, let me show you a sneak peek of my dog. She's currently asleep. Since you guys love to see little, you know, pieces of her life, <laughs> let me show you. literally sleeping like a princess i wish i wish that was me right now it's not i will catch up with you guys in a little bit i'm probably going to grab something to eat and by grab something to eat i literally mean i'm gonna go make myself something to eat it's probably gonna be um like a, a wrap of some kind i bought some different types of like bread i'm gonna try that out to see if i like it we'll see fingers crossed but yeah 
thank you guys for being here and i hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog whatever that entails <laughs> hey guys it's june 2nd and we have some boxes to open that came yesterday there's a couple of things on my list i gotta finish swift tonight so i can take some pictures of this little cutie he already looks so cute we got his little stomping feet here we just need to make his body honestly and his wings so we gotta finish that i gotta do the little tulip buddies for patties tester call which i'm excited to make those look like they take no time so i'm gonna do that too sorry i got interrupted my dad brought me like three little shrimp more like five but they're really good anyways let me finish this i do have two boxes to open with you one of them is from amazon the other one is from michael's which of course you guessed it it's yarn so we're gonna open those two up let me finish these shrimp real quick and then we'll open those up and then we'll finish swift so that's what i have planned for today and we'll probably start bought these um patterns probably not gonna finish bought these patterns tonight we'll probably finish them tomorrow but i at least want to start on them after we finish swift today so we're definitely taking pictures of swift and finishing swift today so that is definitely today um that is it for right now i will catch up with you guys in just a second as soon as i finish my little shrimps and we'll unbox some packages so i'll be back okay guys i'm back and now we can open packages let me go ahead and grab the amazon package first pretty heavy but this is the package i think i can open it with my hands so let's see we have the boxes we have four boxes we have another box and another box okay guys sorry i covered you guys up let's go ahead and start with this box right here um this might not be mine oh <laughs> it's an air conditioner cover so i did not order this my brother did these though i did order and i have three of them i have three of them because they are blankets but i'm using these blankets for like aesthetic photos so i'll show you guys what colors i got here i went for more neutrally colors so i got a light gray Ooh, it's so soft and pretty these were like 13.99 they were pretty inexpensive so i wasn't expecting much from them i just want them for like the background <laughs> That's so cute though. That's the gray one. I ordered several, um, I think a total of four. Let's check out the other two colors. Can I push you guys back so you can see me opening them? I don't think you can. We got a cream. This one has a different pattern than the other one. The other one was like a, I don't even know, like circular. This one has like squares. So cute, it's like raised. It's so soft can't wait to use it for photos and then this is like the the design look how pretty this is oh my gosh isn't that like aesthetic I think it's aesthetic so we got those three um i'll probably take photos with swift and then it draped over my seat or something we'll see let's go ahead and open the michaels package i'm sure you guys are just as excited as i am <laughs> michaels really did package it up this time because look how small this package is compared to everything else that michaels normally sends this package is tiny let's go ahead and open it Ooh, I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek. 
But this yarn was on sale, so of course I had to get multiples. Do you guys see that? <laughs> and not too long ago, they came out with several colors, so I figured I'd buy some more. I have used it in the past, and I really do like it, so I'm excited to show you guys. But this is the Feels Like Bliss yarn from Lion Brand. Look how pretty that is. Let me turn this light on so you guys can see the colors. I don't know if it's going to wash it out or make them look better. But yeah, this is in the color Buttercup. That's a perfect name. So there's two of Buttercup. I got this very deep purple. It looks lilac on the camera, but it's a little bit deeper. It's called Dusk. Perfect name. We got two of those. I got two of this light blue and it's beautiful. And it's in the color Sky. Two in this white color and it's called White. Two in this tan color, it's called Sand Dollar. Two in this light gray, this is beautiful. And Sterling. Two in this light pink, it's kind of like reddish pink. This is called Dusty Rose. I love it. We got this light green, almost matches my shirt, and it's in the color sage. Two of this lighter purple, and I would consider this more lilac. It's called lavender. Two of this other like chocolate brown, and it's called cocoa. I love that name. Two in this light pink. This is called blush. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a very, very light pink. Two in this deep orange, and it's called peach. Last color I got is this blue, and this is an aqua. I think these are all the colors that they had because I did try to get two of each. So just wanted to let you guys know that. It is like very, very soft and fuzzy yarn, as you can see. It says it's a weight five. I would think it's like a weight five slash, you know, top four. I really like it, and I am excited to use this and see what projects I use for these because they're such beautiful colors. So I'm excited. Maybe I'll make a stingray with you guys later today and show you guys how it looks worked up. I'm excited, though. Um, I will need to put this up, and then we'll start on Swift. Hey guys, I have a quick update, so I'm coming back on here. Look at this little cutie! I finished Mr. Swift here. He looks so cute. I freaking love him. I think he's so adorable. You guys do not want to miss out on any of Ariana's patterns. Like, you cannot sleep on that girl. So definitely go give her a follow on Instagram. It's H and K Crochet. Let me give you a close-up of Mr. Swift. He has his little french fry in his nose in his nose and his beak oh my gosh he has his french fry in his little beak and look at him you can set him down and his little legs just get like propped out like that he's so adorable and then he has a little bum but yeah he's so cute i love him i just wanted to show you guys what i finished tonight um it's still sunday june 2nd i need to at least start well, I need to take pictures of Mr. Swift. I went ahead and took a video for Instagram so I can post tomorrow. And now I just need to take some photos and then I really want to start on Patti's little tulip buddy pattern. She has three that are coming out. She has a lovey, a tiny, like a teeny tiny one, and then she has like the original bodied one. So... Yeah, and then the name is Tula the Tulip. So, very cute. I need to see when it's due because I am not sure. Let me go all the way to the top. I think it's due on Wednesday or Tuesday, which gives me some time. June 6th. So, let's see. Yeah, that's on Wednesday, so I do have time. I do want to make all three of them. I don't know if you guys remember, but I made like... 12 of the tulip buddies so i have all of those i think i'm gonna focus on the teeny ones and then the lovey because the lovey looks so cute i really want to make it so i think that's what i'm gonna work on if not it, i've been having it in my head to work on a little giraffe i think i want that to be my next pattern but it's gonna be different I have to see if I can even make it. Maybe I'll start off with something else. I don't know. I just have to see what I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to figure that out. I don't even know if I want to start on it today because it's already 9.32 p.m. I am tired. I really just want to lay in bed. 
but I know as soon as I get into bed I'm going to fall asleep and I'm not gonna wake up until I go into work tomorrow morning which is at like 5 30 so I know I should probably get into bed but I don't want to I want to make the most of tonight and see if I can crochet something else so I may either work on one of my previous patterns so I can do a tester call this coming week for you guys I'll probably do that because I've been working on my ducky her name is Darcy Darcy the ducky and I have pretty much everything done I just want to remake her to make sure that everything makes sense before I like put the tester call out but it won't hurt to put the tester call out and then make my ducky so it just depends i also don't want to be in a rush but i can show you guys a little sneak preview of what my pattern is looking like because it is freaking adorable i wasn't sure what i was going to do and then once i saw like the colors that i wanted to use for miss darcy's pattern it just gave me so much inspiration um so i was thinking like watercolor pond kind of theme whenever i started making it on canva so let me show you a little sneak peek of it and you guys can let me know if you like it or not so i hope you guys are nice and i hope you guys like it let me go ahead and turn the camera and i'll show you guys so this is what the pattern is looking like. We're going to have a beautiful big picture right there. And then I use different colors. I use like yellow, blue, and pink. And look, it's just like a cute little field. The materials, we have this theme of the square going around a lot. And then like the pond flowers and stuff like that. I think it just looks so cute. We get into the before you start, which is bold and yellow. I love that. And then it's continued. And yeah, then starts the actual pattern. So I'm not going to show that part. I want to show the last part. So let me scroll all the way down. And this is where my tester appreciation would be. And I freaking love these. I think they're so cute. Of course, we have Ariana, Bathy pink blue crochet and Addison so we have all of them already on there I'm so excited but yeah let me know what you guys think about the the layout I really like it so I hope you guys like it as well um, I'm excited and yeah I think that's it for right now I was using my sewing stick so I have them out because I was putting on Swift's little wings. I think that's it for right now. I don't have anything else to add. I will catch you guys here in a little bit. Guys, I got home and showered. It's Monday. It's June 3rd and I had two boxes so let's go ahead and open it. It is nothing but yarn so I just want to show you guys what I got. Let me go grab the boxes. <laughs> Okay, so the first one I want to open is from Kayla's Crafts. It is the Naughty Ball yarn. I think this is the pre-order one. I did order some that same day. I ordered a little bit extra of the colors that I wanted. This is what the box looks like. I know they added two extra colors because there was a, originally there was supposed to be a total of 20 different colors. And they didn't get two, so... Just two extra was added. So looks like they added an extra white and an extra turnip. Those are the two extra ones that I got. I mean, fine. <laughs> I will definitely use the white. <laughs> yeah, these are all the colors. I'll just go through them real quick. We got mint here. I did, I think I got some extras in mint because I really like this color. We got raspberry. We got black, of course. We got this red and it's called tomato. We got banana, this color's so pretty. We got pea, it's like a deep green. We got naked, lemon, another white, chocolate, blueberry, that's very, very blue. Turnip, another turnip. Kale, I love kale, that's such a pretty color. Lavender is very pretty too. Clementine. Smoke. I think this is so pretty. I'm glad I got an extra one of these for my next box. And then strawberry. Very pretty. And ocean. So that was like the starter box or whatever. I really like this yarn. I feel like it's comparable to posh yarn. Like I said, I did order some extra skeins. I will see when those come in. Let's go ahead and open up the second box, which I am very excited about. Let me grab it. 
This is Premier Yarn. They had a sale. I think it was like, I think it was like three dollars for Bloom, the like Chenille Bloom yarn. So I went ahead and took advantage. Let me show you guys a sneak peek here. I went ahead and grabbed a couple of colors from the line Bloom Chenille. So we got this nice pink, it's in Tulip. We got this yellow, it's in Buttercup. That's so cute. Begonia, Forget Me Not. We got the white with this type of blue, and this is Bluebell. We got the white with the orange, and it's Marigold. We got Dewdrop, which is like a green, like a light, light green with pink flowers. This is one of my favorites, which is like the lavender color, and it is called Geranium. Very pretty. And then the last one is this very light blue, and it's in the color Larkspur. I am very excited about this to like finally be able to use up my yarn because I feel like I can't use it like this specifically because I wouldn't want to run out of it and then what if they stop selling it so that's like my I need to stop thinking that way because I should use this yarn you know but now that I have extras I feel like I'll be gravitating towards using it a little bit more so that is my haul for right now um, I do plan on working on some things tonight I probably will take a nap before I do because I am tired I'm also letting my hair dry before I straighten it today was wash day so it looks really good I feel like it's been feeling very soft ever since I started using the serum that I bought from like TikTok shop from convincing me TikTok shop convinced me to buy a serum I and mean, they look like little vitamins but it's actually serum that you cut open and you put on your hair so I am excited to be using that and I'll probably take a nap if I'm being completely honest and I'll come back on here to show you guys whatever I do work on later on it'll probably be closer to like 1 a.m. Right now it is 8 p.m. So I am going to take a nap. I am tired from work. I will see you guys in a little bit. For you guys, it'll be a couple of seconds. So <laughs> good morning, guys. I say good morning. It's not good morning. It's actually late. It's 3.08 p.m. It's Tuesday. It's June 4th. And we got some boxes to open up. So I know where this is from. This is from Australia. Um, I don't think this is what I think it is. I think it's something else. I don't know. Let's just open it. I think this is just, yeah, it feels like it. It's only just one hook and it's not even my hook. It's a hook that I bought for Addison for her birthday. So I'm pretty sure it's what it is. And I am correct. But we can all look at it together. I'm sure she won't mind. But this is the peach and page hook. It's in the color birth birthday. It's in yes. So this is the peach and page hook, and it's in birthday cake. So we'll just take a look at it collectively. Okay, guys, I was having like a complete little meltdown. That's why the clip cut off so briefly because I thought I ordered the wrong one for her. Addison and I'm like what the heck but she wanted a brook in birthday cake and it is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook and look how beautiful this is look at that I don't want to touch it too much because it's not mine but it is in a five and a half and the sparkles are sparkling so beautiful so yay I'm gonna have to mail her this entire little pack comes with some goodies so I'll leave that in there for her I'll honestly wait a little bit closer to her birthday because uh, I want to buy a couple more things to put in here so yeah I just wanted to show you the hook hey guys quick update so it is 2 30 a.m. it's June 5th and today is pop-up shop day so I haven't went to sleep just yet so don't mind me I wanted to go ahead and show you something I've been working on today. It came in, I bought it from Amazon and it came in today, so I just can never resist. So I went ahead and did all of this 
earlier today. Before we get into that, I want to show you everything I made today. I made these cute little stingrays. We actually did one on live. There's a stingray challenge going around right now. It's on the Instagram page. I will link it down below in case you're interested in joining the challenge, but basically you like time yourself to see how fast you can crochet this little stingray. So I do have three of them that I made. I actually cut the one that I made on uh, live today just because the top, I didn't close the magic ring tight enough. So there was a huge gap and I couldn't close it. So I went ahead and just cut it up to our fallen soldier, Mr. Blue Stingray. Anyways, I made three of them. I ended up doing the challenge with Addison and Ariana on FaceTime. Bati was gone. She was there for a little bit, but it was already past like midnight and she has to work. So she got off. We ended up making one of these little cuties. And then I ended up making one before the live, ended up making one on FaceTime, ended up making one on the live, ended up making one off FaceTime. Now I have three little peachy pink stingrays that I can take tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna add any keychains. I'm just gonna leave them as is. I just need to hot glue the eyes. And then the other thing that I went ahead and worked on is Bethy's pattern test. They're so cute. I went ahead and made the little tulip, the little tulip baby. She's adorable. I freaking love her and I use my favorite colors, of course. I think this is called lilac and then this is called rain for sure. But yeah, I love that like minty bluish green. And then with this lilac, oh, it's just everything. So, so cute. Made that. Need a glue in the eyes. So cute though. So adorable. Now, the next thing I want to get into is what I've been doing all day. Like what, Melly, what have you been doing all day? What's taking you all day? Let me show you. This is what's been taking me all day, guys. So I wanted a new backdrop really and I wanted to go with like a greenery since I hardly go outside. And if I go outside, it's Texas weather and it's just not as green as you would want in your pictures, you know? So I went ahead and just bought this on Amazon. I can link it in my storefront in case you're interested. I bought a, I think it was a 24 pack and then a six pack and they are all up on that wall. So <laughs> very adorable, I feel like. And let me turn you guys back around here. As you guys saw, I think it's so adorable. It hangs over my, it hangs over my bed. And I think I can take the cutest little pictures, especially because I'm adding three more lights in my background. So I'm going to have some light reflecting onto it. So I think it's going to look nice. And on live, people gave me the idea of doing like little twinkle lights. My dad is going to build a custom shelf for me that goes across. So it kind of cuts, you know, the greenness of it all because it's a lot of green. It's so cute though, but it's a lot of green and I think I can take some really, really nice pictures if I have like this, you know, this plain wooden floating shelf there. So I'm going to add that. I may add the fairy lights that they were telling me, Jackie and a couple other people on live were telling me to add. And then Bati gave me the greatest idea of like putting little flowers in, you know, just scattering them around in the greenery to like break it up. And I love that idea. Ariana said to do like little garlands that hang over, which I do have a couple. I have a couple of like greeneries so I can do that. We'll see, I have a lot of things planned for this wall and I think it's just gonna look so good for pictures because I really essentially don't have a place for photos. I did buy some other stuff that you guys will see. I bought a bunch of different blankets and they're not like blankets for me to use, they're blankets for like the background and to like put my plushies with the blanket so I bought a lot of like neutral blankets for that specific reason as they come in I'll show you guys I think I showed you the three blankets that already came in I have another one coming in and then I have like a little 90 degree seat that's as big as like a seat that you sit on so I feel like that width and 
height is big enough to like frame a plushie on it so it can stand straight up and I can take photos of it. I have some visuals in mind. We'll see if it actually works out, but I went ahead and bought some flowers on Amazon as well. They're supposed to come in tomorrow and by tomorrow I mean Thursday. So you guys may not see it in this vlog because by then I should be editing this video. It, I should not be adding anymore. So we will see. I don't think you guys will see it until next vlog, but I will keep you guys updated on this wall because this wall looks so beautiful, especially with my, um, my little lantern lamps or whatever. I think they just look so magical. And then with the string of fairy lights, and then if my dad, well, my dad for sure is going to make me a custom floating shelf. I think it's just going to look so beautiful. So I wonder if I can find like the brackets to be like vine brackets that would definitely add to the theme I feel like I think that would be so beautiful I'm gonna have to look for that but yeah the little I don't know if you guys remember but I had a floating shelf to the left of this wall it's actually going to be put right on top of my you see how this one is right here it's just going to be next to it right there right on top of the door the floating shelf is right over here but i showed it on my live um it's just sitting over there somewhere i think you can probably see it yeah it's right there i think that's it yeah i'm pretty sure that's it <laughs> but it's sitting there because i'm gonna do that tomorrow i'm so tired well i'll do it tomorrow probably thursday because i can't today on Wednesday because I have a lot to do. I have to do my pop-up, which everything actually is already in my car. I don't know if I'm going to bring anything else. We'll see tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. I just didn't sell anything two weeks ago, so I just, I don't know how to feel about this market or this pop-up tomorrow. I don't know how I feel about it, um, about bringing like extra stuff. We'll see. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. Maybe I'll bring some extra stuff. Who knows? I will update you guys tomorrow, most likely. I'll probably bring you guys along a little bit. Hopefully, I get the courage to, like, film just a tad. I also need to find some change, because I don't have any, just in case I sell anything. And, yeah, go from there. I probably also need to bring a little crochet project, because last time I didn't, and I was twiddling my fingers. So, maybe I should bring something. Maybe I should make stingrays. Stingrays would be something cute and easy. And, yeah. That's it for right now. I will catch you guys in the next clip. Okay, guys. Um, sorry for the bad lighting. That's a little bit better. Um, it is 3.37. It is Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. I do not feel like going to my pop-up market today um i think it's solely because i'm going alone i won't have anybody to talk to um or to keep me company so especially when you're an introvert you know exactly what i'm talking about i am gonna go all of my stuff is already packed in my car it's been there for the past couple weeks since my last pop-up so I am gonna go and I'm gonna try to push through this so last time they said to get there around four I felt like I was waiting around a little too long so I think I'm going to leave my house around 4 15 it's li literally a couple blocks away from me so I'll probably get there around 4 20 4 30 so we'll go from there I just wanted to show you my outfit um it's very simple just shorts and a t-shirt but i still wanted to show you you guys will be able to see me right here but yeah i have my dragon ball z shirt and then some shorts that's it that's the whole fit <laughs> and i straightened my hair well my hair was already straightened technically um that's it i will try to film as much as i can there i'm just bringing my phone and I may bring a project because I'm currently working on a little baby. A lot of people guessed an elephant, which is, it's not an elephant. 
I will show you guys when I get closer. I did make one already, but it needs a lot of tweaking. So I'm making another one. But yeah, that's it for right now. I will see you guys at the at the event. Ignore all of the mess. Ignore it. Ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. You ignore it. Thought the praying would make it better But I swear to God I'm just as lost as ever Thought the bottle would hold me over It still hurt me just as bad when I got sober Everyone around me's found a way to let it go But I can't help but focus on the things I can't control all the darkness in my mind Pain that I can't leave behind I know there's a silver line That I can't see All the cold and sleepless nights Running out of ways to fight I know there's a morning light In my reach If I keep buying time I stopped going out to bars I quit smoking Thought that giving that all up Would keep me going I got over people pleasing I quit falling into love that had no meaning I could search forever for peace I'll never know But I can't help but focus on the things I can't control All the darkness in my mind Pain that I can't leave behind I know there's a silver line that I can't see all the cold and sleepless nights Running out of ways to fight I know there's a morning light in my reach If I keep buying time There's a storm inside my dreams I'm still standing on two feet Let the current Pain that I can't leave behind I know there's a silver line that I can't see All the cold and sleepless nights Running out of ways to fight I know there's a morning light in my reach If I keep buying time So it is almost 1 a.m. Thursday and I need to edit this video. Um, I did insert a couple of clips of me being at the market. I was crocheting. I just kind of want to break the numbers down but before I do that I want to show you guys something that I have been working on and I hope you guys like him. Um, I'm still kind of figuring some things out so it's not the final version but We have a cute little goat. So I don't know if I like the mouth. I think it's a little too big. Probably won't do the mouth, but everything else I feel like I like. 
I like his little horns are a little pointy and then his little ears are so adorable his little flattened face it's a little goat so he's so cute love his little legs they're so adorable look at them that is this little guy that's the only thing I've really worked on I think I showed you guys my little Tula the little this is the mini or the small version the tiniest version I think it's so cute I'm gonna work on a snuggler I want to make so many of these they take literally no yarn they literally take no time and the only thing you really have to sew on is the head let's go ahead and get into the numbers for this market I actually did end up making some sales thank you very much <laughs> in case you guys were wondering but um let's see so let me go ahead and first start off by saying a lot more people did come in i had a couple of people say i saw you from the window because keep in mind this entire place all of the walls are windows they're literally you can see the inside and it's because it's downtown it's in the downtown city area so beautiful beautiful outlook and I I showed you guys a couple of videos like that and I think it's such a beautiful place the atmosphere is very nice and I had a lady say I saw your stuff from outside the window while I was walking so I knew I had to come in here and so she came in and bought some stuff she said that her daughter loved this little cat purse that she had and she's been trying to look for something like that and I I told her I didn't have anything that was like purse like but she said what about a keychain and I said oh I love those for kids because they can use them as little backpack buddies and she was looking at all my keychains and so she ended up buying a little mini chicken keychain and it was five dollars so that was my first sale it happened right when they opened the doors so that made me feel really happy and it made me have a positive outlook on the rest of the day you know the next thing that ended up going was a blue mini octo and that little Octo actually she was gonna pay me and I was like how about we do a trade because she was actually another vendor there and she sold a lot of like a lot of like vintage things really vintage earrings and monograms and things like that so let me show you what I got oh her stuff was two for five dollars that little blue Octo was I had it for five dollars but she said no 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 just take four things and we can call it even I'm like are you sure this you know the sign says two for five but she was very sweet enough to give me four things and it's crazy because I'm sure Addison's not watching this but it's gonna be Addison's birthday here soon and I figured I would shop for her because this lady had like the cutest things and she told me a lot about different markets which amazing I'm so happy that I was able to talk to her listen guys listen I am an introvert but this time going in because I was going in by myself I was texting my group of friends I was texting Patty Addy and Ari and I was telling them like look guys like I'm just nervous I don't even want to go today and they were like just FaceTime us you know like being very supportive and they're like you should go and I was just like okay I'm gonna go I'm just I'm just nervous so when I got there I did have to like talk myself into getting out of the car like Melly you got this just put on your you know put your face on like you're at work and it's gonna be fine but I'm telling you those nerves like oh my gosh like they just hit all of a sudden but I'm happy that I was able to get out of my car I was very nervous because the door was locked and I was just like oh my god like I mean things like that that just you know intensify my anxiousness my anxiety and I'm just like why does this have to happen to me you know I ended up figuring out the lock situation on the door and stuff like that so you know overall it went really well after I set up but it's that initial that really has me like very anxious and makes me not want to go because I was really gonna call it off I'm like no I don't need to go but I was like no I don't want to miss out on my $25 because it does cost $25 to hold your spot but then when you get there and you show up he returns your $25 so it's basically for free I was happy that I went because I got my $25 back I think that's really the only reason why I I was able to go because I was like no Melly you can't do this to yourself like you can't lose that on money and then you don't know how much you're actually gonna make just because you didn't make anything last time doesn't mean you're not gonna make anything this time which I'm happy I had that outlook because this time I actually ended up making a little bit of money you know anyway sorry for that tangent I just want to let you know you can do it you're a girl boss like don't feel like your anxiety is looming over you it may be 
it probably is. I mean, it looms over me too, but just push through it. Like I pushed through it and I felt better. Um, of course now I'm feeling the anxiety again, just thinking about everything that happened today. I need to stop. It went well, you know, so I'm here for you if you guys want to talk about it. I love that you guys left the comments last time about how you guys deal with your anxiety and um, it really means a lot. Like we are a community here and I want us to be a growing family. So definitely leave it in the comments if you want to talk about it. I'm here for you guys and just like you guys are here listening to me about this. So and I appreciate that. So let's get into what I got from the vendor. So like I said, it's Addison's birthday here pretty soon. And so I'm gonna mail um, the hook that I bought her. And I bought her some other stuff. She's very into like colorful things, but she's also very much into like beachy things. So I honestly don't know if she wears earrings. If she doesn't, I won't be offended. She can definitely probably turn these into like freaking stitch markers and I think she would love them regardless so I figured I would still get them for her but I got her this A for her name Addison I was trying to find an MC but these are like heavily weighted so I didn't want to get an MC because it would be too much weight on her on her keys so I went ahead and just got her the A and I think it's adorable I think she's gonna like it and she can put it on her keys if she'd like then I got her this pair it's like a little happy birthday pair but I just think they're so cute they are like her exact colors they're rainbow themed and then they have I don't even know if you can see them so they're rainbow themed. It says happy birthday. And then they have little bow, red bows on the ends. I thought those were cute. So those are earrings. And then these other two are beachy themed and they're earrings. But I think you can turn them into stitch markers. Look at this. This is pearl. And then there's a little freaking seahorse on the end. There's pearls and a seahorse. There's two of them. I think they're so cute literally stitch marker worthy i think she would love that and then the other ones i got her were these little seashells they're tiny but they're so adorable she had so many cute things but these are the ones that were speaking to me when i thought of addison so i really hope she likes these like i said even if she doesn't wear earrings she can definitely make these into stitch markers and i think they would look so nice um that is it on that little haul let's go ahead and continue on what else people purchased from me so there was one person who ended up buying a rainbow crab that was five dollars it was from my keychain makes recently if you guys haven't seen that video you definitely should that one went by so fast it was a little rainbow crab it was a mini red crab she likes all the beach things and then a little keychain blue stingray which i ended up making in that video as well so i ended up selling the two things that i've recently made which i'm happy that i made them for the video and i'm happy i brought them i did um, have them for five dollars so everything was five dollars the crab did take longer to make but I am truly a lazier person and I just threw them on a, all in a basket and labeled it for five dollars so the total was fifteen dollars that she ended up spending I had two girls come by and one of them looked at my booth she loved the little mini minty frog that i made for the keychain video so literally all of those gone and i just made them but yeah that little mini frog she purchased it was five dollars i need to make a couple more in different colors people were really into like the beachy stuff and like the water creatures i guess so i need to make a couple more of those and then the last thing that sold Oh, oh, that mini frog was $5. And then the last thing that sold was Fatih's little pumpkin boy. It's so cute. I made these like a year and a half ago or so. Like this is one of the first patterns. No, one of the first pattern tests that I did for Patty, I believe. And I made, I ended up making two of them. One with the overalls that were cream. And then that brim of the, the hat was blue, like a minty blue, my favorite color, rain. And then the other one was the opposite. So the hat was like cream and then the overalls were minty. And that's the one he ended up getting, the one with the mint overalls and then the cream hat, I believe. It was 
was so cute. I even told him about the other one. He was saying that his partner um, is a farmer and he just loves to be in the outdoors. So that completely reminded him of his partner and he just couldn't like he could not not buy it so I was just like oh yeah I definitely understand like I get that and that was $34 so in total I ended up making $64 which isn't bad because I was expecting zero like last time but I think my setup was pretty much the same I did bring those keychains and I think I brought just a couple more bigger items but I didn't really bring too much I have a feeling that I feel like $14 and less is like the target for this type of audience but I did bring a lot of bigger stuff so I do plan on making more keychains and people like the things without the keychains as well so I think that would be good I that would be a good idea these cuties I think would be adorable so I am definitely going to stock up like I've been making these little stingrays so I'm gonna make a couple more of these and things like that so I'm excited about that I think that's really about it if I haven't already put the clips in from my market I'll put them in now but I'm pretty sure I did I appreciate you guys so much and thank you for coming on this journey with me I can't believe we're on the road to 10k so if you aren't subscribed please make sure you're subscribed I will see you guys on tonight's live at 8 p.m. CST and then we will prep too for Saturday's video but yeah that is it for right now thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys tonight bye guys <laughs>